what if I told you you don't have any boundaries or or you have boundaries and people don't want to follow them people don't respect your boundaries people don't respect your boundaries or if you don't have any boundaries or if you're around people that don't have boundaries and you want to know what they are and how to set them then please keep watching this video hey guys my name is amina and today i will be going over boundaries what they are how to set them what to look for because common sense just don't be common like you would think common sense is common but it's not so let's make the common sense common so that everybody around you can know yeah i know for me personally i used to not have the most boundaries i think i used to be a people pleaser um i didn't want i would show up for people even if it meant that it did not benefit me or if it meant that i was taking a couple steps back it didn't cause any trouble growing up so there weren't certain boundaries in place but now as i'm older i do have boundaries and even having boundaries you can see how people themselves don't have boundaries or people don't even understand what a boundary is or people don't even or, or people can get offended by you having a boundary a boundary is a limit or guideline set in place to define what is acceptable ways for other people to behave so what that means is it is a guideline that you set in place for other people it is known set in place so that everybody knows what is acceptable behavior what is acceptable what you're going to accept and there are consequences if it's not followed right um boundaries are like a fence so if you got a house and your neighbor got a dog the dog's boundary is the fence the dog knows not to go to your to your yard and to do piss do whatever in your yard because you got that fence you got that boundary set in place boundaries are good everybody needs boundaries everybody needs boundaries and when boundaries aren't followed there are consequences but some people don't even have boundaries for themselves People who don't have boundaries for you or that you set, this is what it could look like. It could look like them making decisions on your behalf. You cross my boundary because you not asking me is you overstepping, which is crossing a boundary of me and my thoughts and my, and, and my, if y'all can hear my dog snoring, please don't mind it. Um, so yeah, it could look like somebody making decisions on your behalf. It can also look like there is no healthy um, communication. So it's always interruptions when you're speaking. Um, so it's just interrupting you a lot during discussions. It can look like people who cannot take no for an answer. So if you say no to something and they cannot take no for an answer or they have to be confrontational about it, like, okay, you said this, I don't wanna follow this then they are crossing your boundaries because no means no. And why are you confronting me about something that I put in place for myself, for you? Why, why is it even a question? What do you have questions about? What is not being understood outside of this action is not acceptable to me. You don't have to understand it. They don't have to understand it. So that's what that can look like. And all of that also is just that person simply just not having respect for you when you can see that okay this person isn't you know they aren't respecting my boundaries you can safely assume that they don't have boundaries for themselves they don't even respect themselves they don't even like themselves like they have negative self-talk for themselves so those type of people can also be categorized as toxic um codependent they can be anxious people people who don't like boundaries can be anxious they can be um avoidant and it can come off as not genuine or it is just not genuine um 
And so how to kind of deal with that? Well, first off, for boundaries, for you to set a boundary for yourself, you have to know what is not acceptable. You have to know what your non-negotiables are. You have to know, okay, if this happens, I'm not going to be comfortable. Okay, if this happens, I'm going to crash out. So knowing yourself, knowing what you do not like or what you don't want to happen is a start for um, boundaries. Also advocating for yourself. So when you set boundaries, you are advocating for yourself. It is a form of self-love. Like you cannot cross this because you can't cross me. You can't cross me because I like me. So that's why having um, boundaries or that's how to start with setting boundaries. So it also has to be known. So whether you know it or you say it or the people around you know, okay, this girl don't like this or you let them know yourself, okay, I'm not going for this then otherwise that person wouldn't know. So it's really just being clear on your boundaries, um, advocating for yourself, and then also letting it be known. And also when they don't follow it, then there needs to be a consequence to follow up after that. So, okay, if you cross me, for example, if you cheat, I'm breaking up with you. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my non-negotiable. If you cheat, if you cross that boundary, if you don't have respect for that relationship, I'm not staying, you know, so that is like the consequences. That's just an example of one boundary, but there are different types of boundaries. So there are, and I'm also reading what I'm looking at. So there are physical, sexual, emotional, mental, financial, uh, spiritual, and non-negotiable boundaries. So those are all the types of boundaries that there are. You can have an emotional boundary. You can have a spiritual boundary, like, you know, um, financial boundaries. Or that can also be uh, like a budget. Like, I'm not going over this. Or I'm not paying for this type of thing. Um, that's my personal boundary. So, yeah, that's pretty much the spiel on boundaries. But honestly, that's just kind of what to look out for, like kind of what type of person don't have boundaries or wouldn't respect your boundaries, what to do um, when they don't respect it. It's having that consequence set in place. This, I hope this video was helpful to somebody. Um, This video is really for the people pleasers. This video is really for someone who wants to be better with their self-care. Um... And really just for somebody who ain't going for it, who ain't going for no BS. So, yes, I hope this video was helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow my Instagram because that is the social media platform that I'm most active on. I do post every single month on Instagram. So, make sure y'all follow because I look really good on my Instagram. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.